What's up you guys, Flybox here, and welcome back to Newton Valley, everybody. Hope you're all doing great out there and having a great time, guys. So, first things first, um, as you can see in the little toolbar here, I have two new icons right here. Uh, that's right, I got the Park Life and the Industries DLC along with the Green Cities DLC. Now, those come with a great variety of new ploppables, such as fences. Just check this out. We have fences now, people. This is awesome. We have a ton of new walkways. And I actually don't plan to zone a park or zone a specialized industry for Newton Valley. Uh, but I do, uh, however, want to uh, use the assets that came with these DLCs. Like... For instance, we also have, where do I want to go? Uh, we also have like this uh, community school from the Green Cities DLC. And uh, I will use those assets. I'll use those props and plop them down all over the city whenever we need them. But I won't do any actual uh, zoning from the from the parks. Now, see, this is all locked because uh, small park main gate. We have to build a park basically. But I won't do this in Newton Valley. We'll save that up for the next project. So, next off, I will have to confess something to you. I did some stuff off camera, and as you can see, there is this little uh, seawall or key, whatever you want to call it. And um, I just thought, hey, it would be great to have like this, uh, this key along our river here. And I started to put that down. And then I had like this small little open space, and I thought, well why not lay a little road through here and um, I couldn't stop myself it kind of got away from me so basically I did this whole area right here off camera built this we have a great variety of high density uh, residential we have a high density commercial we have some office buildings in there and I did a lot of decorating. Now you can see right here, this is one of the new walkways that comes with the Park Life uh, DLC. This is a park walkway. Uh, we have a fence right here. We have a fence going along this key from this area here. And I just love that we have fences now. This is so awesome. You can see I built, uh, I put in a custom playground here. I fenced this off. So it kind of, this is the, the backyard for this building here. And um, just detailed this. Now, see, this building has these purple trees in their yard. And we have the fence right here. Uh, another playground over here with a different type of fence. Uh, plop down some of these cars here. Well, they were already uh, in the. before I had the DLCs. But uh, yeah, we got a tennis court in here. And there's this walkway that goes through here, goes all the way around. And the walkway continues, so you can walk everywhere basically. And I just thought that was that was just so much fun. And I, like I said, I couldn't stop myself. Uh, yeah. All right. Next confession, guys. <laughs> I, yeah. What I want to say basically, I don't. Uh, I didn't record any of this footage, so this is just like that. this was a little tour now. And, but basically, I do love how this looks with the variety of buildings and the open spaces in between. Now, if you see the, the zoning, it's, there's a lot of spaces that are empty, that are not filled with houses, like, uh-oh, fire helicopter. Uh, but I did that on purpose. I wanted to leave this space open, uh, or more, yeah, see, we could have zoned all of that, but no, I, I do really want to um, detail this more and put in the trees right here, and I think that looks pretty amazing. Now, just compare it to over here, when I did just the regular zoning. Now, how does this area look, for instance, and how does this area look? And that's the look I'm going for, and that's, uh, I'll do, I'll, I'll, or try to uh, do most of the parts uh, off camera, maybe on stream even, I don't know how the time uh, permits it, but yeah, like I said, no footage here. Oh, I also cleaned up the water pumps here. They're all on this key now, and the key ends right here. Yeah, so we'll do a key on the other side as well. Not today, I don't know, um, yeah. So, next confession, I did some rearranging at Tim Rule's stadium, and if we follow the internal highway along here, you can see it doesn't go straight anymore, it takes a curve here, and voila, this is the new area. So, we have a basic uh, interchange right here, 
we have uh, we got I got rid of the roundabout here. I moved it over here. This might be a bit small, actually. I don't know. We'll have to see how the truck traffic holds up in the future. And um, yeah, this little uh, connection here. Anyway, I do have footage uh, of me building this, and um, I will show you a small speed build right now. With a, I did a voiceover on that. Um, you can skip to this time mark if you don't want to see it. Uh, but I highly recommend you check it out. I explained some stuff in there, what my thought process was, and um, uh, yeah, just enjoy that. All right, guys, this is it. Welcome to the speed build with the voiceover. So, of course, first of all, I thought uh, when leaving this roundabout, we need a straight connection, and I used the landscaping tool to just kind of sink in the road, and um, it did give me a little trouble well, not trouble that much, but the height of the bridge was kind of uh, not the way I wanted it to be. And um, yeah, there we see again the problem with the terrain. So I checked out the height. I used this little first person kind of thing uh, that you can uh, do. And um, just realized that the bridge was all too low, way too low. So I had to raise it up again. But that was an easy fix. So yeah, we connected all that. We have the sunken road and the bridge which goes over top. Yeah, here I'm just checking out the height now of the bridge and then, uh, not the height of the bridge, but the uh, steepness of the slope. And I think it's okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. I mean, of course, I wish I, would, I could grab a node uh, and do some more, but uh, I can't do that, so. Yeah, I put in the slip lane back again, uh, but um, of course, uh, then a couple of minutes later, I deleted the whole thing. I'm just trying to uh, smoothen out the terrain a bit here, just to make it look a little bit better. Hit play for a test. And yeah, basically thought, well, now I do have to have a connection here. And first off, I thought to maybe like do this kind of interchange, like highway interchange thing. But uh, then I thought, well, let's, you know what, let's do the roundabout first. <laughs> so I don't get distracted uh, quite easily in this game, especially. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we put in this roundabout. And like I said, there I was looking at it and I think like, oh, maybe that's that's too small. Maybe we need, uh, we need to lose a connection or something. I'll fix that off, uh, and um, yeah, we'll just see how it holds up. So yeah, now I thought, uh, well, we need a connection from the sunken road to the bridge, right? And um, tried some stuff and uh, came up with this. Eventually, this would have been pretty cool, but uh, yeah, that slope is way too steep. <laughs> So basically, I just had to come in at a different angle, and this is much better. And I know the turn is when you come up from that way, the angle you just saw, and you want to turn in right there. It is a weird angle, I admit that, but um, we have there's turns like that in real life too, and it's not a problem. You may have to slow down, but what I do here is I'm trying to find the asymmetrical road, and. Um, Basically, I want to have a dedicated turning lane coming out from the from under the bridge like we have right there So you have a dedicated turning lane and one that goes straight So when you slow down at the turning lane, that is not a problem Just checking out the traffic flow of the roundabout right here. So now I thought okay, so this is basically all done and um, Just checking how that works I got some lane changes there. I noticed that bus there now, and I couldn't for the life of me remember uh, where I had put in the bus line. That is a subject to change, definitely, because I really don't want the buses to uh, funnel their way through that small little area, and um, I'll definitely change that up a bit, and um, yeah. So here... <clears throat> so here I started with the highway and um, this intersection or this interchange as simple and basic as it is did give me quite the trouble uh, well this first of all here I realize I'm just too close to the wall and the terrain looks like that I landscaped it to make it straight but also I first I thought I would like to have this sunk in but it doesn't work with the terrain like that so it's just like a flattened out area but that is fine I think it looks pretty good and yeah now you can see here the terrain 
like the way I wanted to approach this was basically first half the bridge and, um, and then add in the slip lanes uh, so that took me some time you see we did a little jump there and um, I think this road is, is pretty is okay for uh, for the slope uh, for the steep steepness of the slope and um, here I'm playing around with the slip lanes and the nodes I've created they did not help me at all I mean this was way too close it didn't snap the way I wanted to and I think this interchange took me about 30 minutes to have the finished result which you will see in a second here uh, and it's like I said it's not much it's not really complicated but it did take some time because it just didn't line up so I ended up with this uh, it's not 100% uh, symmetrical but I don't mind now and the slopes are some parts are just a tiny, tiny bit wonky but I don't care it took so long and <laughs> I was just so glad once that was done so yeah, here I am uh, just connecting up the highway. Very basic stuff, actually. And uh, yeah, to have that go very smoothly. <clears throat> so obviously, now I thought, well, I would like to have the roundabout connected to the highway in some uh, way. And uh, oh, there you see, I checked out the terrain. That's why we have so many trees. I hide that yucky terrain. So now I'm thinking, I would like to connect the roundabout again to the highway. Uh, but uh, I couldn't really, like, how do I want to do this? So I came up with this. I created another bridge, which goes over there. And um, then I realized, well, I have a bridge over there. I don't need another bridge. <laughs> and I took it all out again. I was like, I don't think we really need um, the roundabout there. So I tried stuff like this and then I thought, well, you know what? Let's, let's just get rid of this and have this like a smooth curve. And it did create a lot of room to build as well. So yeah, then I thought, okay, this is connected, but I don't like that. It doesn't look good. Take that all out again, demolish it. <laughs> And then I came up with this design. So basically, just kept this one-way network around the stadium, around Timberwolf Stadium, and um, for easier traffic flow. Just and uh, and uh, this connected up very smoothly, and I was very uh, pleased with that. Actually, I think that looks very good. So yeah, then I thought of how can I connect the bottom road to the top road because I do want it a slip lane there. I tried some stuff, but none seemed to really work. <clears throat> tried it from this side, tried it with curves, and I go into the straight roads. And this actually could work, but look what it did to the bridge. <laughs> did you see that? It's like just, like just, and <laughs> why does it do that? I don't, I don't know why it does that. So anyway, I came up with uh, this little bit that you will see right here. And personally, I think uh, that looks very cool. I wish I would have that one road uh, just a little bit straighter, but it didn't work out. I tried it, it didn't work out, and that is the best I could do with the console and the limitations. I don't have move it. I wish I would sometimes, but um, this is fine for me. It works so far, and I like it. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the little speed build, and now let's go back to live building. Alrighty, and that was the speed build. I hope you enjoyed this. So now let's continue working on this area actually. Now, I just basically want to fill this out with some more of the mixed buildings. And um, yeah, let's go, let's get this, this basic uh, road layout to work here. So now how do we want to... Can we go under this? We can, actually. Let's go straight to here. Now, can we... What's the elevation? Looks pretty good. I don't know. Uh, 
Now what would be cool is if I could sneak under here. Oh, there's a pillar in the way. I can. How is that for... It's okay-ish, I guess. I'm not expecting a lot of truck traffic in here because this is just going to be like this secluded little residential area. How is this? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, I think. I'll just have a small little area right here. Okay. So we can have this road just branch off like this, maybe. I have another branch which goes in here. Oh, that was good, actually. I want it. There we go. Okay, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Now let's plop down some buildings. Uh, we have a lot of commercial in here, as it is already, but um, we can definitely break that up a bit and uh, do some more over here. So definitely around the, the highway area. Oh, we can actually hit play, I think. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, let's go over here. Let's also have uh, one or two offices in here. just to get the variety of buildings in here. And some of the high density commercial buildings as well. There's maybe some, some low density also, not in this area. That a bit bigger here, maybe a bigger estate or sort of. All right. No industry. <laughs> Let's have another office right here. Maybe some more commercial in here. Just a small corner shop, sort of. seems pretty good actually let's put the game up on three speed and just let those houses all spawn I think this looks pretty good pretty good ah there we go the roundabout is way too small or the car despawned now they're all gonna go All right, we might need to make a similar uh, a setup as we have right here with a main road going over top so that everybody that wants to go straight doesn't have to go through the roundabout. I thought it was kind of small. I, mean, I might have to change that up, but uh, yeah, we'll get to that. So now it will be time for some decorating uh, in this area here. Actually, let's wait until the houses are spawned in. Let's see. Oh, there it is. It's all good already. Oh, we have a massive fire here. Fire truck's already on the move. Why are they moving so slow, though? I have the game on three speed, and it's not really going much faster. What is going on here? Why don't you move? What is wrong with my game? Sorry guys, I will be right back. Alright you guys, we are back. I don't know what just happened. Something... 
uh, glitched out my game or so. I don't know if it was the fires or what. I mean, it, the three speed wasn't even possible and nothing was moving anymore. I got really scared there for a second about my safe game, but um, everything is back to normal as it seems. So yeah, let's, uh, let's have this area filled out a bit more and we can start to work on this area right here. I do want to um, build another one of these neighborhoods in here. So let's hop right to it. Now, for here, I would like to have this road with the trees. Now, really quickly, let's have a look at the traffic. Traffic goal is overall still 91%. That's, that's, that's okay, we don't want to uh, mess with that. But this road here is not getting as much use as I thought, so it should not be a problem to branch off a couple of roads in here and have like one or two intersections on it. It's not a problem. Now, oh uh, no, wait, I do want to... Now, how do we want to build this? Do we want a road directly on the keys? Might be pretty interesting to drive and just to uh, watch and uh, gaze upon the river. Now, how does that look here? Okay, I guess. I mean, the person next to the driver can gaze upon the river. The driver should very well concentrate and focus on the road, obviously. Now, I don't have a problem with connecting to this bridge. Maybe I do. I know this is getting this is getting. I don't know to use. This is getting pretty heavy use. So maybe we want to stay away from that. Oh, I just realized this is a one-way street. Where is the? There we go. Make that two, a two-way street right here. Okay, let's just curve here probably yes we can okay so this is okay this is pretty good actually and we'll just have something like this for here and we won't connect to this bridge here that's probably not the, a great idea so yeah okay however now let's actually do the one way road here small one-way network going in coming out all right now let's uh zone we have again the demand for it which is great residential demand let's plop some of these buildings here let's get maybe a bigger one i don't want that big And this is just to get some variety in the buildings because I think it does look amazing. Now, I don't want any buildings on this side, no. All right, now let's also get some office buildings because some of them look very, very cool. Let's actually put them like right here as kind of a sound barrier as well. And um, yeah. A little corner one right here. One here. Maybe some high density commercial zone as well. Some small, sh small shops just to mix it up a bit. Okay, I don't think my, my three speed works actually. Look at that, it's on two speed now. Look at the cars. I'm putting on three speed now. They go faster for a second and, and drop right back down. 
Okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have zoned basically everything. Oh, well, let's actually get the office in here. A small one here, if that even zones right there. Okay. Now we don't have any uh, demand for industry, so no office buildings will zone uh, or will spawn at the moment. But this area filled out pretty good, and now I will say it is time for a little beautification. But um, I don't think you want to see me plop down trees and fences the whole time, so. Uh, yeah, I will just uh, do that now and skip to that. So you will see that in three, two, one, done. Alrighty, so basically planted down some trees, laid some walkways, built some fences, some some playgrounds for the houses right here. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, that amount of detail really does really does help. It looks very awesome. I like that a lot. So now let's have a look at this area. This has filled out quite nicely as well. We do have more demand for residential. Uh, however, we could maybe plop down one or two more buildings in here. I mean, why not, right? Why not? The offices, they won't spawn in yet. We don't have the, don't have the demand uh, for, for them yet. But uh, it's going to be pretty good. And it's getting used. Very good. The whole area is very lively now. Now, again, also, I will decorate this area. And um, I'll show you the result in three, two, one, done. Alrighty, guys. Here we have it. Uh, some more details. A lot of the houses got fences. I just love these fences. I also put a fence here next to Imperial Jedi Hills. It runs along this walkway. So, I mean, it doesn't, it's not like an official park. It doesn't cost any uh, money to get in there, but I just felt like people who are walking here in this park, they shouldn't just be able to go into other people's yards or houses or whatever. And um, yeah, I have a nice little basketball field in here. There we go, already got into, oh, did you see that? Great. And, um, yeah, they use some trees to hide some of the yucky terrain that is in here, actually. You can never have a little, too many trees. And there we go, hide some of that yucky terrain. And hopefully, once we have uh, some more industrial demand, we will be able to, or the uh, office buildings will spawn, and we'll have even more of a variety uh, of buildings in here. So yeah, here's another backyard. I put a little gazebo in here, a slide for the kids. This uh, building has gotten a fence now. And uh, yeah, I really like using those fences, man. And uh, they're pretty awesome. What we can do maybe is try and sneak a walkway in here. I really like this. Oh, I don't think that's... Uh, well, it is possible up to a certain point. Well, I've completely blocked my view from, with the trees, of course. Let's just hide the terrain with, and that's as far as it goes. Yeah, because that is too narrow. Oh, it does that weird, weird blue glitchy thing here. Okay, maybe that's not such a good idea. Yeah, the trees are great. Okay. Oh, an office building is spawning. Great. Just have an extension right here. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah. That's, uh, but other than that, I think that is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Kind of dangerous now, thinking of it. I have to put a fence here. <laughs> Along the keys. Cannot build on water. Oh yeah, that's weird. I had that on the other side as well. Cannot build on water. I'm not building on water. <laughs> I think I got it eventually by just going... 
Will this destroy the tree? No, it won't. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Five hours later. Right, screw the fence. I'll try and get that done off camera somehow. All right. Oh, okay, but yeah, guys, I would say uh, let's cut it off here. Uh, done quite uh, the build here. And uh, I'm really liking how this all looks. I really, I got a, like, this, I don't know, like, small creativity boost from, from the from the DLC stuff. And, uh, yeah, I like that. It's uh, it's very fun. I just wish I had more ploppables, even more, <laughs> to get some more detail done. Okay, I definitely have to check this out here. Maybe make another slip lane, which goes over top. I just thought this roundabout was too small. But that is for another episode or uh, off camera. I will fix that up definitely. And um, so yeah, let's end it off with some cinematics and uh, stay safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of City Skylines. Goodbye, guys.